Hey everyone, it's Laura London and today we are talking hormones. We are talking about estrogen dominance. So stay tuned. You're going to love this talk. Hey everyone, it's Laura London from lauralondonfitness.com and today I wanted to talk to you about something a lot of people in the fitness industry aren't talking about and especially not talking about when it comes to women. I think the fitness, in, fitness industry sometimes is a little bit behind on this. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about your hormones. I'm gonna be doing a whole series on hormones and weight loss. But this is truly one of the missing links. We know we have to exercise and move our body. We know we have to eat really healthy and clean. And we also need to balance our hormones. If our home hormones are out of whack, we're not gonna be losing weight. We're going to be having some difficulties and that can be so frustrating when you are doing all the right things and the weight is not coming off. And I hear this all the time and this is something that I work on with my clients so that they are successful. I don't just teach them how to exercise and I don't just teach them how to eat right. I teach them about their hormones. So today we are gonna be talking about estrogen and progesterone and getting that into balance. So estrogen is the, the female, the feminine hormone. It's what makes us curvy and girly and, and all those wonderful things. So a lot of times, especially in today's lifestyle, our estrogen to progesterone balance is way out of whack. And why does this happen? Well, there are a few, few reasons that this is happening. One, we're eating a lot of processed foods and our bodies are not familiar with all the chemicals and everything that are coming into our bodies. So that is an, uh, an estrogen or a hormone disruptor. Another thing are the beauty products we're putting on our skin. Those are really toxic. So I want you guys to start reading your labels and really seeing what's going on there. Your cleaning products, I know you guys have heard me say this before, but it's so true and it's really a, a missing link. People are not paying, they're paying way more attention to their food and what they're eating than what they're putting in and on their bodies and what they're breathing in through the air. We know the average person leaves the house with over 200 toxic chemicals on their body. So just keep that in mind. Some other things that cause hormone disruptions with our estrogen and progesterone are drinking from plastics. Plastics are huge. You know, you see everybody with carrying around water bottles or those gallon jugs. And I want you guys to drink your water because you need to be hydrating. And that's a whole other video in itself. But start ditching the plastic. There are so many better alternatives. You can uh, drink from stainless steel. You can get PBA free plastics. But even so, I prefer you seeing you drinking out of glass. So we're going to start ditching the plastic. Where else are we using plastic? Well, we use a lot of plastic in this world. Um, so it's time to start switching out and ditching that plastic, especially in the kitchen. Most of us use those plastic storage containers. Now those have got to start going. Glass is the best. If you can get glass containers, that would be great. And there's so many. I have some great sets. I love this. I have these little plastic ones, um, plastic glass containers. I think it was $20 for the whole set at Crate and Barrel. They're a perfect size for storing things in the refrigerator. No, I don't work for Crate and Barrel. I just happen to love their store. So how do you know if you have this imbalance or this estrogen dominance? Well, that's a great question and I'm so glad that you asked. So some of the signs are, I had a little bit too much coffee, um, 
you have a weight gain in your hips and your abdomen, maybe you're doing everything right, you're exercising, you're eating well, and that weight won't budge. You might have heavy periods, you might have breast swelling and tenderness, cold hands, cold feet, you have a low sex drive or a low libido. Um, these are all signs of estrogen dominance. So what can we do about it? Because there's so many things that we can do to help support the body naturally. And of course, if we can't, if we're really having an issue, always go see your doctor and get some testing. So what are some things that we can do to start getting that balance back in our bodies? There are many things that we can do naturally that we can start doing today. So first, Get more green leafy veggies in your diet. They're high in vitamins, minerals, and fiber. They're gonna to help to detox the body naturally. A great way to do that is a green smoothie. I am such a big proponent of green smoothies. So if you need a great recipe, head on over to laurelondonfitness.com. Another thing we can do is dry skin brushing. Dry skin brushing, we're gonna just, if you haven't, I. Uh, I have an article on my website on dry skin brushing too, but you're gonna take a natural bristle brush. You can start at your feet, you can start here, and you're gonna brush your skin nice and gently. What this does is it stimulates the lymph system. It's this layer right underneath your skin, kind of like a, a fishnet that's the body's natural detoxification system. It doesn't have a pump like the heart, that's why we exercise to get blood flowing. So we need movement to help stimulate that lymph system. We can do it by rebounding, jumping up and down slightly, or we can start using um, dry skin brushing. Another thing we can do are adding probiotics to our diet. Oh my gosh, you guys, that's a whole other video, but your gut health. Your, your gut is your your second brain, it works. Digestion is huge in the body. If you're not digesting your food, and if you're eating Franken foods, I call them, that definitely can throw off your estrogen balance. So start adding some great probiotics to your diet. Another thing you can do is get in healthy fats. Healthy, healthy fats. The body needs fat. You're not gonna get fat by eating fat. Trust me on this one. No fat phobia anymore. So coconut oil is one of my favorite. I like chia seeds, flax seeds. They're all great for the body. You should be getting a portion of fat every at each and every meal, just something. If it's a, a nice salad dressing or a, you know a teaspoon of coconut oil in your smoothie, whatever it is, your whole body is going to love you and that really, really helps to balance your hormones. I mean, you'll see in, 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 from my experience and my clients' experience, when they start adding in those healthy fats that they've been missing, life just gets a little bit better better the body calms down it's it's really quite amazing okay another thing we can do is get more sleep omg people the world needs more sleep turn off the lights in your bedroom at night try reading a book before going to bed instead of watching tv there's a great app that you can put on your computers. I have it on my laptop because sometimes I use that at night. Um, it's called Flux, F-L, uh, I'll put the link down at the bottom of the video, but it actually dims your computer screen as the day goes on. That's really great. Your body needs to rest. It needs to repair and it needs to regenerate and it does this at night when we get deep, deep sleep. You can add some things to help you to sleep. Um, some people find melatonin works for them. Some people find tryptophan works for them. Uh, tart cherry juice from the Montmorency cherry that's also high in melatonin. So they're different things. Magnesium, you can take a nice bath in the evening, a warm bath with some Epsom salt, some magnesium. And I don't want you putting in Epsom salt or the magnesium that um, 
has all the beautiful smells in it unless it's a natural, natural oil. Because otherwise, fragrance is highly toxic. And again, we talked about our beauty care products. And if you're using perfume, which you really, you really shouldn't be, don't spray it on your skin. Please, please, please don't spray it on your skin. Okay, so that those are some things that you can start implementing today to start balancing your estrogen and progesterone and start feeling better. So I hope you liked that video. Um, like I said at the beginning, I'm gonna be doing a whole series because this truly is such a huge missing link when it comes to women and fat loss. I'll see you guys on the next video and come visit me at lauralondonfitness.com. Bye-bye.